As this show so often highlights, small firms are the engine room of the British economy, accounting for half of commercial activity and two-thirds of all jobs. But many entrepreneurs are suffering from late payment issues, from over-regulation, and now, of course, from even higher energy bills. So back in the studio to answer all your burning questions, we have the Government Small Business Commissioner, Liz Barclay. Liz, great to have you with us today. Let's have a look at some of the questions that GB News viewers have emailed into us. Deb says, I'm owed thousands of pounds by a customer and getting nowhere. We're a small firm with just a few employees and I'm struggling to sleep while worrying about this. It could be the end of the business. The customers are rumoured to be shutting down. Where do we stand? Liz, late payment, mm -hmm. trying to get your money. It's a key theme of your work as the government small business commissioner. Yes, and it's a key theme that we're beginning to hear more of, which is really worrying. You, you always bill me as answering the questions as small business. <laughs> I wish I had the answers yeah. to all the questions. Um, the biggest problem is that we are seeing businesses waiting to be paid and waiting to pay their suppliers mm. until they get paid. Mm. And that is lengthening ever mm. so slightly, but it's starting to lengthen. But we're also seeing bigger businesses offering work to their smaller suppliers at extended payment periods. So where they used to pay in 60 days, they're now offering to pay you in 90 days or offering to pay you in 120 days. So it's getting harder and harder for Deb and people like her. And this really worries me, the mental health issues that come along with lack of sleep. Now, Deb is worrying about her few employees. Mm. But for every employee, there's a family behind that. Mm. And that family is struggling with the cost of living crisis. Uh, and it's often the, the company at the end of the chain that has to exactly. pay their employees yes. because they know them. They're small businesses, yes, your employees, they're often family or, or, or like family, aren't yes, they? Yes, absolutely. And yet and the small business itself isn't getting paid. It's, yes, it's and wicked. I remember somebody saying to me last Christmas, this is 25 employees that yeah. have families who are going to struggle to get through Christmas. And so I'm worried about the fact we talk about the cost of living crisis, but not the cost of doing business crisis. And there definitely is one there. However, Deb, I would say to you, if we can help you, we will certainly try to help you. If a firm's you to going bust, if a firm's well, going bust, it might have assets. There'll be a bankruptcy. Where do, you know, small business suppliers to that firm stand in the sort of creditor staircase, as it were? Well, you are on a staircase. When the firms go bust. Yes, and you're the on banks, a... they get their money, don't you're they? You're on a staircase. Uh, HMRC gets their yeah. money. You're on a staircase and you're probably quite low down the rungs of that staircase. Now, the question is, if this business does go bust and shuts down, will there be any money there? Are there any assets? Are there any premises? Or is there any equipment that can be sold in order to pay off the creditors? The amount of money that's in the pot at the end of the day is the question. Let's say you're owed 25 grand, and actually, when the company's wound up, there's only 10 grand in there, mm. then everybody's only going to get a tiny amount of money. Mm. So we don't know until we know the details of this. But make sure the administrator of the winding up knows that you are old money. So find out. Put your hand up, jump yes. up and down. Absolutely. Let's go on to our next one. Stuart got in contact to say to Liz Barkley, months ago I was contact, contact, contracted to fit meters into a small number of houses once we got to that stage. Now the developer wants me to do the work, but the parts alone now cost more than the contract is worth. I've been trying to renegotiate better rates, but the developer refuses. I'd be doing the work for a big loss. What's the situation if I just walk away? This is inflation, isn't it? Hmm. You set a price, yes. and yet when you actually get around to doing the work, exactly. the cost of the components is more, the cost of the labour yes. is more. The, 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 the value of the money you get is worth less. And the question is, when did Stuart take this contract? Because if you were contracting to a small developer, how long has it taken to build the houses? It could be two years ago mm. since you put a price on this. And, of course, over the last two years, inflation has gone through the roof and the cost of materials and importing and everything else has gone up for small businesses. What happens if you walk away? You have a contract. The developer might pursue you to try to get you to deliver against that contract. But you can't, because you haven't got money to pay out for the parts, probably. It's not clear this from this email, time. unless no. I misunderstood, whether he was prepaid or not. No. That um, would be a key that element. Would be, we'd really like to know whether that were the case. Yeah. Um, we don't deal with construction, and this is construction, but there is, uh, a, there is an arbitration scheme for businesses in the construction sector, which is why we don't 
Right, OK. Because yeah, um, it's notorious in construction. You've got Hugely chains difficult. of... <laughs> yes. And, of course, everybody's yeah, My family to... ran a small building <laughs> business when I was a kid. That's yes. why I got interested in economics. Yes. These supply chains in construction, these creditor chains. But it's... we do know that in the, in the construction sector, people are trying to negotiate con mm. renegotiate contracts at this point, mm. saying, look, the materials have gone mm. up, and there are quite a lot of developers digging in their heels. I, I guess it's worth saying, aside from Stuart's case, if you are doing a contract, you're a small person negotiating with a big person get in that contract you know index link quotes brackets allowing for inflation Absolutely. try and keep the actual price flexible try to cover yourself but yeah. also try to get paid up front yeah. for the materials that you're going to need to use yeah. because you can't afford and to buy the out. materials and, and, buy them and then they're yeah. there if possible yeah. but then to be fair, you might you get might, stuck with the materials. But you might be working on another contract yeah, yeah. in which you need, you know, so it's it's cash flow. It always comes down to cash flow. Cash flow is king. Question is, if you did decide to deliver against this contract, where would you borrow the money from to get the materials in? Because that's getting tighter and tighter. And if you walk away, where is the developer going to get another person with the talent that you've got to deliver that contract? This really shows developer how has to inflation makes like business that. so much more difficult. Very. Here's a quick one from Jerry, just before we say goodbye to Liz. I've been given an offer for a new energy contract from the company I've been buying energy from for, year, for, for years. It's it's for almost six times the amount I was paying. This is going to bankrupt the business. We've got that off-gem energy price cap rise coming in tomorrow, but as you but and I so often say, it doesn't imp apply to businesses. businesses. They're fully exposed to yes. wholesale energy markets. Yes, and six times... Will that change? The, six times the amount that you're... I have no idea. I, I mean, I know you're the government small business commission. No, no, it's beyond I, your pay grade. <laughs> it most can, definitely can, 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 is. We, can we just pretend you're Liz Barkley, the, no. the celebrated uh, we, independent journalist? We, for we can't, <laughs> because I would have to get all the figures to yeah, think yeah, yeah. through what would be the best way through this. And well, I'm I assuming that's what the ministers yeah. are doing. But I am talking to a small business owner that was paying two thousand pounds a quarter now paying ten thousand pounds a quarter you cannot pass those increases onto the people That's staying in your destroy hotel. The business. it it's will just... destroy the business so it's all the more important for big guys to think we need to pay our small suppliers as quickly as we possibly can because that can that can be the difference between cash yeah. flow and the small business surviving and they're the talent that's delivering for you to help your bigger business grow